Hey gardening friends, I'm Tiffany and welcome to my channel. Today I am taking my coleus cuttings inside from outside. They're annuals in my area in central Ohio, so they're not going to winter over outside. They'll just die. So while they're still pretty and full of color, I cut them occasionally, maybe every two week intervals. But I like to just bring them in while they're still in their prime in a way, like while they're still gorgeous, not looking stressed at all. So two weeks ago, I took these cuttings and this is how they look. I just put them in water. So they're looking amazing. They're doing really well. So that's what you should expect in two weeks. So two weeks from this video, I will get roots on all those cuttings. So this is another one. See all those little roots? So you can put these in soil when you start seeing this. You can also put them directly in soil. You don't have to do the water method. So whatever you prefer, give them indirect light, the same type of light that they were getting outside. So mine is in a shade area, a very heavily shaded area. So they get indirect sunlight, like they'll be content on a dresser, in our bedroom, not by a window, and they're perfectly fine. So all that you need is your coleus cuttings, grab some pruners or scissors, it doesn't have to be anything fancy, just something to make some fresh cuts and cut off some of the bottom leaves. Grab any kind of cups or jars, any kind of dish that will hold water. Don't add any rooting hormone or any of that, it's not necessary. Some people do that, but literally this is fresh water and they're rooting just fine, so you don't have to go out there and buy any extra products. Just grab all of this and we will get started. Okay, so just in case you didn't quite see where I was cutting when you're outside, I'm going to grab my first cutting. You find two sets of leaves and cut underneath them. So I'm going to cut even farther closer to these two sets with a fresh cut. And then you're going to cut off these bottom set of leaves. So I'm going to take my pruners. I'm going to cut off these sets of leaves, even the little baby leaves that are really close to the stem. And that is where roots are going to come out at, where those leaves were. And I'm going to make a fresh cut and on an angle right underneath it. And then I'm going to put this in water. So you can cut, there's actually this, you can cut if you have any kind of blooms, you can cut that off so it doesn't waste energy trying to keep that alive. And you can either leave all of these leaves completely huge and uncut or to make sure that this cutting sends all of its energy or most of its energy just to the roots instead of keeping these huge leaves alive. Just taking a little bit more work off of the plant so it doesn't have to keep every single bit of what was just there alive. So this is a great cutting. This is exactly what it should look like. And then you just plop that down in water. So this is the top of the plant or top of one of the stems. There's lots of stems on coleus. See that little bloom starting up there. So this is what a cutting would look like. You find maybe two sets of leaves. This has three sets but this is roughly what it should look like. Now cut those bottom sets of leaves fairly close to that stem. Cut that bottom on an angle, making sure it's underneath where those leaves were. Don't cut above that. And for this cutting, I'm gonna take off these leaves so that it has less energy spent on keeping these huge leaves alive. And I'm gonna leave it just like that. And if it starts to look stressed, I will cut these in half, but these are actually pretty small. I cut the ones that are really huge. These were really big leaves. I'll cut those in half, but these are pretty small. So I'll leave them like that, but that is what it should look like. So Lee, or sorry, so roots will come out of the area that those leaves were and if I put this underwater as well then roots will come out of those and then just put that down in your water just like that 
Okay, I'm gonna grab my next cutting. Well, maybe not that one, that's deep down in there. Let's grab another one of these. And again, that is the top of my plant. So this is what it should look like. If I had cut it under here, that'd be a really small stem. So I cut it way down here. So now I'll cut those bottom leaves off. And I'm going to make fresh cut on an angle right underneath that. That's where the roots are gonna come out at. And roots can also come out from this area as well, but for sure that's where they're gonna come out at. And since this is so much leaves, I'm cutting the next set. And I will cut these in half. And that is my next cutting. And if it starts to look stressed as well, I can remove these. And if I put it in a vase and it was clear up here in water, then that will also have roots. Matchy, matchy, very cute. Here is another one. This one has some blooms and we don't want that. So cut off those blooms. You do not want it to waste energy keeping else wear alive and again cut off those bottom leaves and then cut the bottom at an angle so it gets the most amount of water and cut your top leaves in half and if they're fairly small leaves you can skip this step perfect beautiful cutting so that's what that looks like, just tucked in water. Now I think I got all of my burgundy-ish colors and pinks. Now I'm on to some of my greens. I think I might have three cuttings in here. Okay, this is my next cutting and it is so gorgeous. I love the pinks and purples and all those kind of colors with the classic coleus, but I love this one. And I don't buy these from the store. They're all from a seed packet. It's a variety seed packet of coleus. And I have no idea what's going to grow that year. Every single year, it is a complete surprise for me. Whatever ones that are in that packet are just random. So if I love the coleus from that year when they're outside, I cut them and I keep them inside in the winter because there's no telling me if I start the same variety seed packets, if I'll ever see this again. So whatever ones I love, this is what I do. Now it is so pretty, I hate to cut off the leaves, but it will thank me later. So get a good, good view of this. It hurts, it hurts us more than it hurts them. They will love this. It's a great rejuvenation. So cut off those bottom leaves, just like that. Cut that bottom on an angle right underneath where those leaves were. Cut off the next next set of leaves. And I'm going to cut the next set in half. So beautiful. So that goes underwater. Love it. How pretty is that? Okay, so this is my next cutting. Now, if you saw in the video, this was one of the last ones I cut and it was low growing. So again, this is a variety seed packet. So they're all gonna grow differently and have different designs, different patterns, and apparently different growth habits. So the other ones are really tall. This one is really short. So it's got a lot more closer together sets of leaves. So I chose one, two, three sets, and I'm going to, again, just cut off the sets I don't need way at the bottom, and I'm going to try to, I cut that really close, just give it a nice little fresh cut, not too much, because I don't want to go past that little area where those leaves were. I'm going to cut off the next set. Now I prefer cutting off these leaves versus ripping them off. I don't want to 
harm it more than it needs to. So, and I think I'm going to cut this one completely off and just leave just that leaf. And there's already some growth right there. So then energy will get sent to that and that will take off. If I put both of these underwater, both areas and in between will have roots. And I'll just put that down in water. And you can always take more cuttings than you need in case some don't survive. This is my next cutting. So again, like how that one was a lot closer together. These are a little bit more spaced out and there's only two sets. So I'm going to take off those bottom sets. Flip it around, take off that other set. Get a fresh cut on an angle. And I'm going to take that bloom off. I don't need the bloom. And I'm going to take this leaf and cut it in half. It's a little bit bigger than the other one. The other one's a little bit small. All right, guys, so that's all that it takes. I have all of my cuttings. These three are the ones from two weeks ago. So again, this is what those roots look like. And in two weeks, I should expect these cuttings to have the same amount of roots. So get out there, get your coleus cuttings, get your free plants for next spring, winter them over inside, and then harden them off in the spring and then replant them back outside. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and all those good things. It really helps me out and tag me on Facebook or Instagram. Follow me there if you haven't already. I'd love to see your beautiful coleus and have fun rooting your coleus cuttings. Bye garden friends.